seeing a dog in a field or in the woods, what they're doing is a work of art. And if I can find a way to translate that, like that is what I want. That's inspiration. I'm just a girl who really loves her dog and really loves being outside and artwork and sharing like my appreciation for it. What role that is, I don't know how you would put a label on it. I see myself as, I guess, an artist. You know, everyone's like, what do you want to do when you grow up? And I went through like multiple phases and everything I wanted to do from like, I wanted, at one point I wanted to be a dog trainer. At one point I wanted to be a wildlife photographer. And at one point I wanted to be an artist. And I've found this thing where I can include all that together. And it's just, it just happened by accident. It just somehow worked out. So growing up, my dad always had subscriptions for Pointing Dog Journal, and they always had features of artists on the cover. And right then, when I was young, I was like, I want that. Well, I was known to venture off with the dogs. <laughs> I had a Red Rider BB gun, so I would just tag along behind them and just, I guess, pretending that I was, you know, my dad or whatever, um, hunting behind the dogs with my little BB gun. So I started hunting super young as soon as I was of legal age. <laughs> so I was like five or six when I shot my first doe. My dad would grouse hunt as well. And at that time when I was really young, he had a Brittany named Dixie. And I never took up grouse hunting, but I enjoyed being with them. I enjoyed and watching the dog do, you know, their thing. And so that's when I kind of started carrying a camera and taking photos. And I kind of carried over into my artwork at an early age as well. Just that creativity, kind of linking up with being outside and hunting and, and capturing it. And then there was one day we're on this old strip and we just stumbled upon it and it was just plum filled with woodcock. And dad limited out like super fast and he just handed me the gun. It was like, take it. And I'd never shot at a bird or anything, and I was super intimidated. So I was like, all right, let's give it a try. So Shotzi works and she finds a bird and she goes on point. And I walk up to it and it flushes and just one shot and it went down. And I was as shocked as dad was that I hit it. And Shotzi went up and picked it up. And instead of bringing it to my dad, she brought it to me like she somehow knew that I had shot that bird. And it was just like right then and there, that teamwork with me and a dog, I was like, oh my gosh, this is something that I've been missing out on and I want more of. I knew I wanted an English setter because when I was younger, we had an English setter for a shorter period of time. And she was just like the all-star in my eyes. She was such, such a sweet dog, such a sweetheart. For few years I've been doing kind of research of what breeding I wanted and everything and you know a litter came up that was available and we just jumped on it and I got the pup and um, and that was Rohan. Yeah ever since then it's just been me kind of me and him learning together because he's my first dog that I've actually trained all on my own. He's the all-star. I'm not a trainer. He, he teaches me more than I teach him for sure and it's been an adventure because through him I've met a lot of people along the way just by hunting and I met my friend close friend of mine Tom they kind of introduced us to hunting in Montana it's been crazy how just getting a dog and taking up hunting and and I'm here in Montana you know it's just it's just insane it's just the places that they'll take you so well, I'm
running like my hands on fire And I don't intend to stop even when my legs grow tired And yes, I'm stumbling I'm stumbling on my peace of mind There's regret in my soul that I did not been by And I've got a secret And I did not intend to keep it Covered up my soul for far too long And I've got a message From Colorado straight from Texas you Captured most of me, just let me be My style of art is, it's just ever changing. With time, you hopefully get better at what you're doing, but then also you find other ways that you want to, to test out and to improve on. When I first started, I was really photorealistic artwork. And then here recently, I've been kind of dabbling with looser work and oil painting and like challenging myself to be more loose and give more room for interpretation rather than it being like this hyper realistic looking thing. I've also recently tried to challenge myself with plein air painting and painting on site and just anything to challenge myself to try something new because it may be something that I really enjoy and it's just going to make me like more well-rounded in developing form and light and all those things that's so important with art. As time goes on, hunting is becoming more, for me, my interest is leaning more towards the dog. Rohan's personality in the field is all business. He just has a ton of drive and is he knows he's out there for one reason, that is to find birds and do his job on finding them and holding them for me. But then at home, he's just a total goofball and a sweetheart. Just typical setter. He's just the biggest goof. So my husband and I joke around because with all of our pets, they all have these personalities and we'll speak for them in a voice, which I hope we're not the only people who do it. <laughs> but uh, for Rohan, his voice is Matthew McConaughey because he's just this smooth talker slick good looking <laughs> so <laughs> that sums them up basically <laughs> to me it's just it's about following your dog along and um, watching their them do what they were bred to do and do it well and just be happy with it on the good days and the bad days and hopefully carry a little weight in your vest as well by the end of the day <laughs> It's not about killing, it's about, it's just, just about enjoying your time outside and having respect for the animal that you're pursuing and appreciating it. I'm trying to think of how George Evans put it. It's a complicating relationship having so much respect and appreciation for a bird, but then you're also taking his life, which leaves you very responsible for treating that with worth. There is just some sort of connection with the tradition of hunting and that connection of the dog doing his job and then me doing my job of ethically following through what he has produced for me. But it's just the tradition of it. 